everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, A Chat with Methia. My name is Methia. And of course, I bring to you another season of amazing episodes. Guys, this is going to be interesting. And uh, as a social media influencer, I get to be asked so many questions. How did you start? How much money do you make? I, I get so many questions about being a social media influencer and working online. Some people really don't understand it. But then today, I have a team of influencers that is going to share with you their journey and how they are making it in the social media industry. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and of course share with all your friends and family. Thank you for hosting me, Methia. I'm glad to be here finally on the chat with finally. Methia. Finally, it's a big deal. Yeah. So yeah, my, my name is Quizera Laban Macron, like government official botanical <laughs> names. Okay. But uh, on social media, even in probably my few friends call me Kara. Yeah. Hi everyone, thank you for subscribing to Mathias YouTube channel. Um, I'm Lynn Namiro Mubiru. On social media, I'm Lynn Mubiru. Yeah, still a student. Social media influencer. Hi guys, um, I'm Laban. Mami Laban on Twitter at John Laban 256 I'm really happy to be part of this session of a chat with Mathias and I'm so delighted that as one of the influencers that were called upon, uh, my story as an influencer is quite interesting because also I'm not sure how I have reached up there but I mean it's good it's good will. I join social media just like any random person would wake up you join social media just for your own good for your own pleasure probably to post tweet about things uh, see things on Twitter Facebook Instagram everywhere everyone has almost everyone nowadays is on social media but it's not like something I really looked into at the back of my mind when I was joining it, I'm like, this is going to be a business for me. I joined Twitter in 2019, like March 2019. And fortunately, by November, you I had started followers. making money. Like, yeah. It was so easy, but yeah. then that's how I did it. So I've, I've been on Twitter for two years. I didn't go on social media, particularly to make money. I went there for fun. But then when I reached Twitter, okay, my favorite app is Twitter. I use Instagram as well, but my favorite is Twitter because there's a lot of logambo, there's <laughs> yeah. sports, there's banter, there's everything you want, and there's news. Like, if you want real news, just go on Twitter. Uh, with time, you know, you get to get this following, engagement. I actually didn't know at first, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know that it's something someone can make money off until a certain friend of mine reached out, he's like, Kara, I like, I like your tweets and I see you have a couple of people following you, so if, if you posted my business, then it would make sense. Like, you never know, I might, I might get clients from there. I was, I'm like, sure, let's try this. I put it out. I, was said, I started posting for free. It was actually for free because the guy was my friend. He was running a business. And actually, this is like a hack. I post for free for my friends. If I know you and you're my friend, I don't, I don't charge you. That's what it makes you work for someone. Exactly. If, 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 if someone is my friend and they have a business, I would support you. If, if that's what it takes, I would support you. There's, there's nothing bad about it and I don't lose anything. So we started from there, I was posting for my friends and a couple of people started picking interest. I think that was, uh, I just left campus. That was 2018 when I left campus. Yeah. Became serious. That, that's that's when of course life hits you you're like yo i need to make rent i need to make money i need to you know you need to get good stuff for yourself mm. take care of yourself pay some bills so you're like now let me get serious with this thing let me start making money with it well i don't know i don't know how i don't know how people do that but then the time i came in mm. people liked my stuff people liked my content and yeah why sense. not yeah. okay doing gigs um i think by the time i came on twitter mm. the first people i met and the first people i coped up with other people that always make it a point to like okay Lynn does this and this so maybe she deserves this, this opportunity so mm. I feel that, that 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 is the first that's the go ahead like the connections I made at first mm. I still have each and every person so whenever a gig is there and when I work I deliver so how why <laughs> not why don't you work with me when I deliver so, I can imagine yeah influencer Laban became an influencer because of the friends he made. 2019, I joined some two friends of mine. That was uh, Demo and 
solo. We're like, you know what, let's let's now get serious with this. Uh, we started up an, an agency, mm. a baby agency called uh, Address Digital Africa. I've heard about it. Exactly. So from there we started uh, now, it was, it was more serious that you don't even need to wait for a client to come to you. Mm. You write a proposal, you go to these people, you move to these people, you pitch to them the ideas, the marketing strategy, what you're going to do for them. So now you're looking for the business. The business is no longer looking for you. Mm. And that's in, in influence of business, that's what actually makes the money. No, I prefer the clients coming to me. I mean, you've seen my work, you love it. But then me coming to you, I'll have to prove it a lot of times. Mm. But then, then I'll have to prove it. That more. makes you more money, you going to the clients. Yeah, yeah, like you have your budget. Exactly. But some people yeah. don't pay. You know those things happen. Yeah, right. So someone, and you know, influence of business is a bit tricky. When someone has already received the service, they usually don't see the value after Very that. Hard. So certain things happen and you find someone is not going to pay you mm. and you've probably hired a team of around 10 guys they're all counting on you the exactly. so it, it, it's, it becomes frustrating that you have to coordinate from this side of the influencers mm. and from the side of the clients you're taking in all that pressure the client is telling you i need guys to deliver mm. these guys are saying we need our payment okay so it becomes it becomes it's a, a bit one. tricky yeah mm -hmm. The biggest challenge I faced, and it's still there, it's understanding the target market. How am I going to attract people? Like, how am I going to do it? How are people going to engage with my tweets? Because, you know, clients need the engagement. They of need course. that stuff to go viral. So that is one of the things I, I faced. But then I try, I learn and ask, like, where it's necessary. I ask person yeah she is like, coming to me how do you do it <laughs> like help me out here how is this and this so that has been it but with time i learned i think every time that passes every gig that comes you know mm. you, you're better so that's what i did i like ask mm. criticism mm. people will never accept that you're influencers today somebody will ask you have influencers on twitter tomorrow influencers are bad people uh, they, but i mean we're also human like you Somebody tags you in her post or something, you get close to 1,000 notifications a day. But because you missed her single post and you retweeted others, you're bad. So that is one of the challenges that we face. Most clients, um, most clients don't know what we face, by the way. Like, they don't know how I come up to create the content. Yes, they'll give you, I need this and this and this. But then they don't know that behind the scenes, how am I going to create this and this for you? So sometimes clients expect a lot when that's not how it's supposed to be. I think you, you trust me, so you trust what I put out. Mm -hmm. Just have to be patient with me. And with time, I think I will give you what you need. Another challenge, uh, like the clients, sometimes don't pay. And I mean, you've used your data, you've used your time. So if you don't pay me, I mean, I've made a loss of time, and time is really value. The, big, the biggest thing I've, I've benefited the most is social capital. Like, I've met uh, very many people, important people, people who are stupid, <laughs> people who are wise. You need everyone in life, that's the honest truth. Yeah. You, get, you need everyone in life, so I've met all these people just because of social media. After making influencer friends, what's next? If they have a gig, they'll be like, okay, this kid told me about his dream of becoming an influencer. I think, let me give him a chance. When the person gives you a chance, you're supposed to use the chance, like impress them. You actually need the people more than the numbers. Yeah, right. You get, because you're going to have all these numbers, but at the end of the day, you don't have business coming out of the numbers. If you're looking at the business part of it, mm. you need to get to know the actual guys who are in the business, who are running this business, you get to be friends with them, you get to interact with them, then that's when the business will come to you. But the follow chains doesn't work for anyone. Mm. Do you know that? Like it some does, people do it then? and they don't get the engagement. But then some other people do it and in one minute they're up there. Mm. So I don't think it works for everyone. Are they real followers? Does does people they get no, I don't, some follow I don't, chains? I don't think I don't think followers that are gotten under follow chains mm. are real followers because really? they're also they're also eager to get more followers so mm. they'll just come okay i need this follower she's going to follow me i follow her back okay. yeah but then there are deep down there are people who will love you for what you do love you for what you present love you for your content so 
I feel they they are, they are more genuine. Yeah, like right. they will come follow you up when you post something. You know, there are those for me. I have off my head. I have three people I know. When I post, thank you. They will like <laughs> it. So. Yeah. The only investment you can do as an influencer is time, your mm. gadget as a phone, mm. and the data. It's it's enough for you to become an influencer. Everyone that wants to, by the way, should, you can, everyone can do this. By the way, it's, you have to focus, accept like you don't accept you don't know, and then learn. You know, most of us have a problem. Mm. Like we are all arrogant about learning, not knowing. This is what helps us. Me, when I when I don't know something, I'll come to you, and you'll be grateful that I I, I tried it. I tried to come to you and ask you how did you do this and this. So they should grow their brand slowly, but then they should be patient. Then after, like after being patient, you know, Methia does this better. I'll go to her, ask how she, how does she do this and mm. this. Yeah, so and they should make connections. Oh, hey. In the first place, I joined it not because I was looking at oh, yeah. uh, having my bills paid. I joined it just like any random person would join to have fun, to post about things you like, you know, random things. Your last advice or your last words to your followers? Uh, my last words is, uh, I think uh, everyone should stay safe, COVID okay. is real and you know, sanitize and just be a good person yeah. and yeah, make money. Uh, my first word would be to the people who trust me, people who always make it a point to always call me up or mm -hmm. always put out my name even though you know clients sometimes like decline your name yeah, yeah but then someone tries to always they put, always your name put you up so you guys are the real MB mvps i love you so much trust me you have to trust me okay. they, sh they should continue doing what they do and loving me that's because man my followers really love me there are times people troll me and you see all of them coming out no laban couldn't do this we know we know our laban man thank you so much big up so guys, you've heard it all from the influencers, you've heard their journeys, you've heard their stories, they've been trolled, they've been, the people have said a lot of things about them, but this is their influential bit and they're actually making money off social media. I hope you've learned a few things. There's so many people that keep asking me, Matthew, how can I become an influencer? How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I make money from the social media? So you've learned a lot and best believe I'm coming back with my story. It's going to be a banger. I need to tell you how I became a social media influencer. But yeah, I hope you've learned from all that. And please, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I really appreciate the support. Share this video with your friends, your family, your relatives, and everyone that you know so that they spread the gospel of a chat with Matthew. Till next time, bye-bye.